And new tonight, a local man alive today, thanks to the quick action of a good Samaritan and two local firefighters. All three saved somebody from a medical emergency where the odds of survival are very low. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Audrey Russo shows us how in this story out of New Haven County. It's one thing to have a heart attack. Uh, we arrived on scene, found our patient unresponsive with CPR in progress. It's another to be in full-blown cardiac arrest. We put the patient on the, the cardiac monitor and found that they were in a uh, lethal rhythm. On June 7th, North Haven firefighter paramedics William Barry and Jeffrey Pranger rolled up to this health clinic, knowing time was ticking fast. When that happens, there's no perfusion. The blood is not flowing where it should. You can see from this picture of the patient's heart rhythm exactly when the shock brought him back. But both first responders say the clinic's doctor performing bystander CPR helps keep the man close enough to the brink of revival. In just a couple of seconds, we were wheeling him outside and he took his mask off and talked to me, which was amazing. I've never had that happen before. The patient, who didn't want to talk on camera, was discharged from the hospital just days later. It's a very small percentage of the time that that happens. The American Heart Association estimates less than 8% of patients survive cardiac arrest outside of a hospital setting. And they say 70% of Americans either don't know CPR or their training has lapsed. Two statistics that don't mix well when blood isn't flowing to the brain. That's one of the first places that da permanent damage starts to happen. And for that reason, a lot of cardiac arrests don't go as well as they could go because early recognition is missing from the picture. A lot of people are apprehensive, a lot of they're scared. <laughs> While you're waiting for help to arrive, both Barry and Pranger say quick bystander CPR can make all the difference between losing someone you love to cardiac arrest and raising that 8% survival statistic a little higher. Even hands-only CPR is it's absolutely way more effective than nothing at all. It's, it's always better to do something than nothing. In North Haven, Audrey Russo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.